Welcome to the WCG for semi-final one of the 2020 Australia Day T20 Big Bash, which sees the two-time champions, how's that? Taking on the fairy tale story from this year's competition, the Saggy Greens, for a place in the big dance. Both sides coming off epic quarter-final wins to get to this stage of the competition. The Saggy Greens overcoming the six offenders in a final over Thriller to reach the semi-final stage for the first time in their history. But it took a bit longer for the two-time champs to reach this stage of the competition. Overcoming the Nifnuffs in that double super over epic in quarter-final three. And they feature in their fourth grand final qualifier and are looking to keep up their tradition of making the grand final every other year. So the two key plays for this first semi-final and no surprises that it is both skippers who will be the crucial men for their respective teams in this match. Brendan Scott is the leading run scorer and leading wicket taker so far in this year's competition and his side will be looking towards him to guide them to their third decider in five years. The saggy green skipper Tom Doy is often relied upon for a rescue act particularly with the bat as the most 49 runs at a tick under 25, can he guide the saggy greens to their maiden grand final berth? How's that have won the toss and they will bat first? So no surprises that it will be the how's that skipper Brendan Scott to get this innings underway as the mass 98 runs and is averaging over 30 for this year's competition. Can he get the two time chance off to another flyer here? So the first ticket to the decider up for grabs. It'll be Dave Lupton bowling over the wicket to Brendan Scott. In now and he begins with a full outswinging delivery, but it swings way outside the off stump, and that'll be called a wide. So how's that are away for this semi-final? Perhaps a nervous start there for Lupton in this do or die semi-final, as he'll continue to Scott in the opening over. As in now and it's a full delivery, Scott gets an inside edge, and will not move through for a single. Look the tied stroke there from Scott, who turned down the single. He might still be feeling the effects from that epic quarter-final win. As Lupton will continue to again in the opening over. This one's a back of a leg delivery and this one's going to crawl down the ground for the first boundary of the semi-final. It's a back of a leg delivery which is muscled down the ground from Scott. As he moves to four. No wicket for five. As Lupton will continue to Scott in the opening over. As in now, this one's a good length delivery. He just plays his back to Lupton who missed fields. But thankfully Matt Thorpe is there backing up to pick up the pieces. A bit of an edgy start to the semi-final here from the Saggy Greens. As Lupton is in for the final ball of the over. This one's a full delivery which hits Scott on the thigh. And it's a dot ball to end with. It'll be Matt Thorpe to bowl the second over of the innings. As he's in now over the wicket to Scott. And it's a good length delivery. And Scott plays this off the back foot. And this nearly slides through the how's that skipper. Well this looks another tied stroke here from Scott. That was way too full to play off the back foot. Thorpe to continue to Scott in the second over. And he's in now and he serves up a full toss and Scott hammers it through the mid-wicket region for his second boundary of the match. It doesn't matter how tight he is, he'll put them away all day. How's that? No wicket for nine in the second over. As Thorpe will continue over the wicket. And this one's a full delivery and it's bang on the money. It's a brilliant reply there from Thorpe. He's bowled well so far in the knockout stage. It's quite ironic that the more drunk he's got, the better he's bowled. As he'll continue to Scott in the second over. This one's another full delivery and Scott can't make contact with this again as it wraps him on the pad and it's another priceless dot for the saggy greens. So no wicket for nine as we reach the final ball of the second over. Thorpe into Scott and he drags this one down but Scott can't beat Tom Doyle at mid-wicket. So a pretty decent start to this semi-final with the ball from the saggy greens. How's that? No wicket for nine after two overs. The men in green will be happy with their work so far against a clearly lethargic Scott. But they still will want to see the back of him, as this is usually where he puts the foot down. So it'll be skipper v skipper for the third over of the innings. As Doy is in to Scott, he starts with a short delivery, and Scott hammers this down the ground for a boundary. That's a gift served up there from Doy, and Scott says thank you very much. How's that? No wicket for 13 in the third over. As Doy will continue to Scott, and this time he serves up a full toss, and he whips this through mid-wicket for another boundary. Back-to-back -back boundaries to begin the third over, as Doy overcompensates and pays the price. Saggy Green Skipper under pressure here in the third over, as you bowl again to Scott, and it's a wide-arm delivery, and this one slides down the leg side, so that'll be called a wide. So a poor start this to the over here from the Saggy Green Skipper. How's that have moved along to no wicket for 18, with seven deliveries left in the innings. This is usually the time that Scott likes to go, and he's got a brilliant platform of which to launch from now. As Doy is in for the penultimate ball of the over, 
He's in now and he's dragged this one short. Scott hammers this through mid wicket. And this time it's for a maximum. It's been a poor over from Doy. And Scott races to 22. Doy is in for the final ball of the third over. As in now and he drags this one way short and lobs up. And Scott's hit this into the crowd for another maximum. 21 off the Doy over. How's that? No wicket for 30 with an over to go. So it will be Dave Lupton to bowl the final over of the innings. As in now to Scott, and he begins with a good full delivery and it strikes Scott on the leg. And this time he will move through for a leg bye. So Scott yet again standing up for his side with the blade in this tournament. And it looks like they're going to set another very competitive total here in this semi final. No wicket for 31 with four deliveries remaining. As Lupton will continue to Scott in the final over. As in now, and this one strikes Scott on the body and Thorpe is onto it quickly and prevents another leg bye. The saggy greens are far from out of this. Two successful chases in their last two matches. As Lupton will continue again to Scott. And this one's a full delivery. And Scott goes bang down the ground for a maximum. Scott moves along to 34. Now's that 37 without loss with two to go. Lupton in for the penultimate ball of the innings. Here is his in now. And this one's a short wide delivery. It's cut away towards the boundary. But it's well fielded there from the skipper Tom Doy. Who saves a certain boundary. The big fella throwing his body around as he realises what's at stake. And we arrive at the final ball of the innings. Lupton to Scott over the wicket. In now there's a full delivery and it strikes Scott on the legs. And he won't move through for a single. So that ends the innings. So Scott carries his bat for the third time in the tournament. As how's that post a very competitive no wicket for 37. After their 20 deliveries here in semi-final one. It's a very healthy total, but this won't scare the Saggy Greens, who have pulled off two successive run chases to get to this stage of the competition. So write the men in green off at your peril. 38 to get. So it will be Dave Lupton who will get this run chase underway for the Saggy Greens. Smack 31 off 11 deliveries in their record run chase win against the Puffin Billies. Can he get his side off to the ideal start in this run chase? So it's 38 to get for a maiden grand final berth. It'll be Costa Savas to bowl the first over of the innings. As in now, and it's a full delivery and it does strike the bin. As it nearly wrong foots the How's That skipper there. This one clearly hit into the ground first. As the bin comes to How's That's eight again. Savas to continue to Lupton in the opening over. As in now, and this one's a full toss but it beats the bat of Lupton. And it hits him on the leg as he moves through for a leg by. So the saggy greens are away in this run chase. But Lupton will probably feel a bit disappointed he wasn't able to get that away to the boundary there. They've been the kings of the run chase so far in this year's competition. Do they have another effort in them to reach their maiden grand final? As Savas will continue to Lupton in the first over. And it's a swing and a miss there from Lupton. It was a wide delivery. But it hasn't been given a wide here from the umpire. Oh, that's a tight call indeed. Savas in for the penultimate ball of the over. Here is his in now and it's a full delivery. And Lupton drives! But Lupton drives straight into the bin! And that's the first wicket down there for the Saggy Greens. It's the big wicket of Lupton who goes for a duck. That's a massive wicket there for How's That. As the fall of Lupton now brings the Saggy Greens skipper Tom Doy to the crease. Can the Michael Bevan of the Australia Day T20 Big Bash rescue his side once more? So Savas will bolt to Doy for the final ball of the opening over. Here is his in now and he starts with a full toss. Yeah, and this one has been called a no ball to end with. Saggy Green's one for two in this run chase. As we Brendan Scott to bowl the second over of the innings. As he's in now and it's a full delivery which rats Tom Doy on the back leg. And it nearly sneaks through his defences. But he lives to fight another day. Scott to continue to Doy in the second over. Here he's in now and it's a full toss and Doy hammers this down the ground. But he can't get it past Scott who fields off his own bowling. So it's another priceless dot there. 36 to get from 13 deliveries. And Scott will continue to his opposition skipper. And this one's a full delivery which angles into Doy's pads. And it strikes his body as he moves through for a leg by. So they're going to need a bit more than that here, the Saggy Greens. 35 to get off 12 deliveries. How's that looking in a strong position to qualify for their third decider in five editions? That is unless Tom Doy has another rescue act up his sleeve. And Scott will continue to him now in the second over. As he's in now, Scott serves up a full toss. And Tom Doy goes bang down the ground for a maximum. Well, that will help. Doy is away. Scott is in for the final ball of the second over. As he's in now, this one's a good length delivery. And it's a bit of a wild swing across the line. 
as Doi gets a bottom edge and moves through for a single and moves through rather casually and a direct hit here from Lavin and he was toast. He lives to fight on. So the Saggy Greens one for 10 after two overs. Still requiring 28 runs off 10 deliveries. They found themselves in a similar situation against the six offenders, managing to sneak home in that quarter final. Will history repeat itself to send them through to their first ever grand final? So it's going to be Todd Lavin who will bowl the third over of the innings. As Zin now ran the wicket, it's a good length delivery. And Doi sways back on the back foot and hits it through mid-wicket for a boundary. Well, that's a good start to the over here for the Saggy Greens. 24 required off nine. Lavin under pressure right from ball one. As he'll continue to Doi around the wicket. It's another full toss, but this time it hits it into the fence and it rebounds straight to Scott. And he knows how fortunate that was. Doi will be desperately disappointed he wasn't able to get that away to the boundary. As Lavin is in once again around the wicket, and this time he drops short, but Doi hammers this into the party stand for a much needed maximum. He's still alive here, the men in green with their skipper at the crease. 18 to get from seven. Lavin to continue to Doi in the third over around the wicket. Here's his in now, and he digs this one in short again. Oh, but Doi can't beat Scott there at mid wicket, and another opportunity goes by. So it's three a ball now required here for the Saggy Greens, as Lavin is in for the final ball of the over. As Zin now, and he serves up a full toss, and Doi gets his away through mid wicket to end the over with a boundary. So they're still alive here, the Saggy Greens. 14 to get from the final over. So it'll be skipper v skipper for the final over of the match. 14 to get for the Saggy Greens. As Scott is in too, Doi, and he rips straight through him. Is that the match? That's a massive wicket there for How's That. Another defiant effort with the bat. Ends on 21. So it's Matt Thorpe who walks to the crease, the last hope for the Saggy Greens. Was the hero for his side in that quarter final, getting him home in the final over. Can he produce another effort to get his side home in this one? So it's 14 to get off four deliveries, and Scott will go around the wicket to Thorpe. And this one's a back of a length delivery, and Thorpe gets an edge! The match is over! How's that? A through to their third decider in five years! Scott holds his nerve in the final over as the adventure ends at the semi-final stage for the Saggy Greens. And there's just one more effort left for Scott and his men. So how's that? Are the first team through to this year's decider after a 13-run win against the Saggy Greens here in semi-final one? How's that? Keep up their tradition of qualifying for every other grand final and are now just one win away from their third Big Bash title. Commiserations to the Saggy Greens who had a fantastic tournament in this year's edition, but their fairy tale run comes to an end at the semi-final stage. So how's that? The first team through to the big dance, and they await the winner of a blockbuster semi-final two. It's nice Gary and two inches short of a length coming up for a spot in the grand final.